All right, we're out in the shop again today. No, I'm not working on the Mustang over there, but uh, I do have parts on order for that. They won't be here for another week or so. So probably the next video we'll be working on the Mustang. But this weekend I've got a little side project I'm working on. Um, got some really cool old cedar posts here. I got some pretty gnarly twists to them. I think this will make a really cool pool table light. I've also got some whitetail sheds, a few mule deer sheds. Um, not sure if this is going to be enough. If it's not, I'll have to get a hold of Ted and uh, steal some more out of his shed pile. Hopefully this is enough. I do have a couple more up there on top of the shelf, but I don't. Those are hard white, and I'd like to use fresh sheds for this. They just look better. Um, I'm going to do, so I think, I'm going to try screwing these two logs together, or these posts together. And then I'll use, uh, probably have to do some sort of metal framing underneath to have a straight section for the lights to attach to. I'm going to use a two and a half inch puck lights. Um, not sure how many, probably four, four to six lights. I think will be enough. So I'm going to get started on this. There's not a lot of good spots to run screws across here. I might have to actually put a couple of antlers on top and screw them to each log or each post. That way it's a little more solid because I've only got like two points that I can actually get a screw to go from one to the other. The longest, screw I, the longest screws I have here are just three inch. Wish I had some longer ones, but I don't. I don't really want to run to town. So I'll try and make this work with what I got. That might work. So I can get a screw in through the top of this one, through the base of this horn. That would give me three anchor points. All the rest of the sheds can just be attached to the outside. I might do that. Let me play with it for a little bit and see what I come up with. All right, down here is not great for attaching the two to each other either. So I'm gonna drill an extra large hole in this so I can countersink this screw down into this part and uh, suck the other log up right here. I didn't go through, did I? I don't think so. I might have, or it's just kind of rotten on that end. Well, I might have to find another spot to attach. Oh, hold together good. Oh, I guess it's not going to break. I think I still might try and find another spot to attach it or use some more some more of the antlers to lay across the top more than just that one. For what it's going to be used for, that's probably plenty strong. Now I think I need to hang it. All right, so I couldn't. I realized I couldn't hang this thing until I got my insert done for where my lights are gonna be because that portion needs to be level. So I flipped everything over. I debated using some expanded metal, um, but this wasn't gonna work too well and I would've had to do a lot of trimming. So what I decided to do is just a one by. I still got a little more cutting to do on this, but this is gonna lay in here roughly like this. When I had the logs flipped over and screwed them together, 
I had it was resting on all of these four points, these high points. So I leveled it off of these points here. Um, so now this is sitting level the way I want it to hang. So I just need to get this board to fit in here where I can attach it and be level. And then I can flip it back over, hang it up, and start screwing some horns to it. So I'm sure that's clear as mud. It'll make more sense when it's done, I guess. All right, shaved a little off of that end. Just trying to kind of shape it around the logs a little bit. It's not gonna lay in here like perfectly and match everything, but it won't just be a big blocky chunk of wood either when I'm done with it. Too. He was such a noble dude I can't even finish school Missed my mom and left too soon His dad was a fireman Who fought fire so violent I think I bored my therapist While playing him my violin Oh my god That's so insane Oh my god Ooh, That's damn near perfect As far as level I need to do something different with this end though I don't like how it's just blocky down here. I think we're good on those. I'm gonna need a light probably as far out as here. It's hard to see that other side. I am gonna paint this too. I think I'm gonna paint it. Maybe stain it. One of the two. I'll either paint it black or I'll stain it a real dark color so it doesn't so it kind of blends in. It's not too noticeable. The lights are going to be black, so I'll probably paint it black. The wiring's black. Yeah, we'll just go with black. Such a shame next to them, my shit don't feel so grand. But I can't help myself from feeling bad. I kind of feel like two things can be said. All right. So something like that, it's not level right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this screwed down. That way I can flip this thing over and hang it. And then I'll have to, I'm just gonna put two screws in it for now to hold it. Then I can level off of this. Once I flip it back over, I'll get this level. And then I can start screwing some sheds to it. And then I'm gonna have to pull this back off and paint it. The world's smallest violin really needs an audience. So if I do not find somebody just for now, I screwed these chains to this truss straight above the lift here. That way I can actually work around this thing. Because I can't work on it over the pool table, obviously. But I got them hooked up. I'm about to drop it and see if I've got it roughly adjusted right. So I had, I went ahead and did, or I just did one hook on this side because of the way the post is shaped. It didn't really work to do a split. But I have to do at least one split. So I did one down here on the other end. Um, that way it doesn't tip one way or the other. Let's see if it uh, hangs all right with that setup. That's really close. down on this end just a little bit more than a link where I can come up on this end I think I'm gonna leave it like that because I can always adjust it up top I'll just get it level with where I put my anchors in up top. Yeah. All right, start figuring out where to put sheds on this thing. Probably just gonna put you on time lapse because I'm probably gonna have to think about this for a while.
right, we got everything mounted on there. I called Ted, had him come down and give me a hand uh, mounting all these. He had the idea, I think, I think he had the idea of using the elk sheds up top instead of the mule deer sheds. And I think that looks a lot better. Um, stole a couple of my elk sheds from the rafters up there. That's all right, they weren't doing anything. So yeah, I think it's uh, gonna look awesome. Everything's screwed down now at this point. I still have to take this board off underneath, paint it black, and my lights aren't here yet. I'm still waiting on the lights. Uh, they will be here in a couple days. I'll probably get this finished up midweek for next weekend, but uh, yeah, that's it for today, I think. Okay, a little update for you. It's Wednesday, my lights came in. Um, I forgot to film it, but I pulled that board out. Got it all painted up. Probably doesn't show up real well, real well on the black rug, but all those, all these round pieces are the bases for the lights. I'm going to show you a light here in a second. So five laid out better than six did on there. And yes, if you look, everything is crooked compared to the board, but these bases are all in line with where the chains are straight up and down or straight above. Where, where this one is on this end and where that one is on that end. That way the lights are gonna be straight with the way the fixture is hung. And it's not sitting on the pool table crooked, which it would have been if I would have stayed uh, straight with the, that board. That board, I couldn't get it to go in there any other direction than uh, what you saw there. So it's gotta lay in there a little bit crooked just because of the way these uh, posts are shaped. So. But uh, let's see the lights. Show you them real quick. I thought I ordered black. I didn't. I ordered a bronze-ish or brown color. So, but uh, that round part is the what you saw on the board over there. That just pops off. It's hard to do one-handed. These are screwed down to the board. And then the light just snaps into it. All of the lights plug in with these. I already pre-wired this in right here. This will sit on top of the board hidden down in between the two posts. And I fished the wire through the chain all the way up. It's pre-hung up there. Um, I have to put an outlet in between those, another outlet in between those two lights up there for this to plug into. So. That's just an update for now. I'm done for the night. I'm gonna let that paint dry. I'll probably come back out here tomorrow night and finish this thing up. All right, got this light all finished up. I had Cody, one of my buddies, uh, Cody, that I work with, he came out and helped me hang this thing last night. It turned out to be very heavy. So it was a struggle getting it hung up there on that truss, but here it is all finished. Even got a badger skull from Ted. Threw that up there too. I got so much left to prove. All my friends are vaping friends. They're so good at making friends. So I'd like to do some more lighting changes in here so I can shut these other big lights off because um, it's you can't see the lights on the table real well. It lights it up good, but uh, need a little more subtle lighting in here than than the main shop lights for when we're actually out here playing pool and stuff. And this isn't quite bright enough to just have this lighting up the shop. It does light up the table really well though. And that's as bright as it goes. You can dim it, but it doesn't uh, doesn't serve its purpose when those lights are dimmed down, so. Turn the lights back on. Yeah, I like how it turned out. So if you like seeing projects like this, uh, let us know. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll keep posting stuff like this. Uh, it'll be another week or so before my parts come in for the Mustang over there, and then we'll get started working on that project. Thanks for watching.
I'll blow up into smithereens and spew my tiny symphony all up and down a city street while trying to put my mind at ease like finishing this melody this feels like a necessity so this could be the death of me or maybe just a better me now come in with the timpanies and take a shot at Hennessy I know I'm